My name is Shui Zhu. I'm currently a professor of optical materials at the College of Materials Science and Engineering, State Key Laboratory of Luminescent Materials and Devices, South China University of Technology in Guangzhou, China. My laboratory researches a variety of exciting topics, including nanoparticle development for non-invasive assessment of biomarkers of multiple diseases. Our research group concentrates on chromophore and fluorophore design. By modifying the properties of these compounds, we can develop polymer and nanoparticle-based fluorescent contrast agents for sensing and imaging systems. We feel that purely optical detection techniques like fluorescence imaging can provide valuable information for medical diagnosis and preclinical research. However, optical methods also have some limitations. For example, the strong light scattering in tissue causes the spatial resolution of fluorescent signals to degrade rapidly with imaging depth. We therefore need a new and robust imaging tool, such as MZOD, which can provide deeper tissue penetration depth with higher spatial resolution. Currently, we are using several systems for our imaging experiments, including visible light fluorescence imaging, near-infrared fluorescence imaging, and the MZOD Envision Imaging System. Based on our recent experience, we believe that MZOR confers some advantages over the other imaging modalities that we are using. First, with MZOR, ultrasound signals are detected, as opposed to photons with fluorescence. Ultrasound waves scatter less than the photons in animal tissues, and therefore it's possible to maintain high spatial resolution and accurately determine the orange of signals at depth. Additionally, the MZOR system can distinguish optoacoustic signals of an exogenous probe from the background signals of hemoglobin, melanin, etc. by employing the spectral unmixing algorithms. I hope that one day our probes can be used in clinical applications. The depth of optoacoustic imaging is limited to a few centimeters. Nonetheless, in my opinion, this still gives us access to superficial cancers as well as skin and muscular diseases. We are very excited to continue our research to promote the field of activatable probes to improve the application of optoacoustic imaging for disease detection.